This video is brought to you by WeGotSoccer.com. Be sure to visit WeGotSoccer for everyday low prices on all the latest soccer gear. Don't forget to use coupon code SR4U at checkout for $10 off an order of $100 or more. Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you an unboxing video for a pair of A6 Lethal Stats. This is another top end shoe in the A6 line and I would compare it mainly to the A6 Tigrera 5 which is probably one of the more unique shoes in the A6 line although all the A6 shoes are really unique this is probably the one that I would compare it to as being the closest uh, shoe to compare it to simply because the A6 really don't compare to the other lines from like Nike and Adidas or Puma even they just really make some unique stuff as you can tell just kinda of giving you the 360 of this shoe it's really really unique something you don't see too often if we start with the upper on this shoe, it's a, it's a combination of kangaroo leather as well as high quality synthetic. See this front vamp in the forefoot here is pretty much full kangaroo leather. Really good quality. Asics uses some really great materials on here. Good, a nice, it's a really nice plush leather, and it doesn't overstretch very much either. So I've been using the some some Asics shoes are currently in testing, and the quality of the leather they use is really fantastic. Uh, and then on the outside and inside of the shoe, you have what is called Rhino Skin Synthetic. And the concept here is to have uh, a shoe that's going to maintain its shape a little bit better and provide really good lateral stability. The synthetic's nice and soft, so there's really no, no harsh transition between the synthetic and the leather, which is really important if you've ever he heard me talk about soccer shoes. Um, but it's also going to maintain the shape really nicely, and it's not going to overstretch. It's going to keep that nice shape and allow it to fit for a really long time really well. See a lot of leather shoes on the market, they overstretch and the fit gets sloppy, especially after use for a couple of months. That's not gonna happen on here simply because the synthetic leather is gonna keep its shape really nicely. You also have this kind of rubber heel vamp, I guess you could say. It's really uh, really unique, like a rubber element on the heel, provide just, a, just to provide a little bit of extra grip, I guess. Something unique, something I've never seen on a soccer shoe, so curious to see that. You're also going to notice that the lacing is slightly off-centered to the outside here. Then you have a really thin mesh tongue. It's actually a firm mesh tongue with like these synthetic leather uh, overlays on it. So it really does feel nice when you do try this on. I have tried it on already. It fits fantastic. Um, if you are curious as to how ASICs fit, because I know they're not available to everybody to go try on in the store, they do seem to fit true to size. So if you are looking to order online, your regular size should be just fine. Um, the suede heel liner is also included. All the heel liners on the ASIC shoes, again, just fantastic quality and really nicely padded. What's unique to a lot of the ASIC line shoes is you have this HG 10mm technology, which is essentially a 10mm heel gradient, which means that it's kind of more designed more like a running shoe. So the concept here is that soccer is a running sport, and ASICs being a, sh a company that's really into running shoes, uh, decided to bring this into a soccer shoe, which totally makes sense. And given that soccer is a running sport, and you get most of the injuries that are uh, that happen in soccer are based on overuse injuries. So your ankles, knees, and hips are generally injured due to overuse or being fatigued. What this HG 10 millimeter technology does is it places your heel 10 millimeters higher than your toe would be, so your your weight is slightly transferred forward, which is going to help reduce the risk of injury, as well as placing your body in a position that's a lot more um, stable or more ready for a sport. It's a more athletic position, I guess you could say, which is definitely important. It's something that you do notice when you do put the shoes on for the first time, especially if you are not standing on grass or anything like that. But again, it's something I got used to after really only 10 minutes or so. It really didn't bother me all that much. A lot of people have said that it's really, really noticeable. I didn't find that at all. And it's something that I really do like. You do notice it when you put on a different pair of shoes after you do wear these, but again, the difference is minimal and you can really go back and forth with no issues. You also also have this, what they call sole light, which is again, an EVA foam that's uh, on the midsole of the shoe. So you do have that little bit of extra padding that you would get in a running shoe in the heel area. Again, it's a comfort thing, it's a, it's a injury reduction thing, something that I really like. And if you're gonna be playing on really hard ground, something that's, uh, a useful thing to have I think then you have this really unique stud pattern on here I have used the ASIC Tigrio 5 I'm currently testing them and I have to say that I'm super impressed as to how well they grip again if you want to check out that video for that particular shoe or any of the other ASIC shoes there will be an annotation on the left side of the screen so I highly recommend you do check that out 
um, but the, the, the sole plate and stud pattern on that shoe is just fantastic. I've never had a stud pattern that grips so hard and so well in pretty much any direction while still using conical studs. And this uses a really similar play on that particular sole plate. You get these uh, five studs in the heel area, which is somewhat unique again. Um, provides some, a little bit of extra stability. This is really an ideal stud pattern to use on hard ground or even turf. It's not, it's not that bad on turf as well. But you have these conical studs and then you have these little conical studs that are all placed really in close proximity and they really, really do a good job of gripping, especially when the ground's hard. If you really use the plane on really hard ground, especially in the area I'm in, there's a, a lot of hard ground and these are just fantastic to use. I've never used a shoe that grips so well in, uh, in, on such hard ground, even short grass. They really do grip phenomenally. And again, I'm really curious to test this particular version. Slightly different than the Tigre R5, but again, very similar. And uh, I can already tell it's going to be a really nice sole plate to, side pattern to use. But that's pretty much it, guys. That's the A6 Lethal Stats. Again, if you want to check out the full, full written review, that'll be up in about a month or so. Just to give me some time to uh, write the review and really get these shoes a good test. Uh, to give you my full thoughts on here. Uh, any questions you guys want to ask, go ahead and leave a comment down below. But if you want to check out the Buy It Now links, the high quality pictures of these shoes, which are fantastic, you really get, don't get a sense of how nice these shoes are until you check out these high quality pictures. The online stock photos really don't do them justice. So I highly recommend you check those out. There'll be a link in the description right to the review page. So go ahead and check that out. They're also really competitively priced. And I have the best prices online, again, on that review page on my website. So go ahead and check that out. Again, any questions you guys have related to the shoe, go ahead and leave a comment down below. And any questions you have not related to the video, go ahead and leave that on my Facebook page. There'll be a link in the description of that as well. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.